All right, camera's on, rolling. Um, went to a bunch of sales today, and to be honest, I'm not gonna say that I did bad, but I didn't really do good. Uh, I just, but everything was cheap. I didn't get the stuff I like to get, but I got stuff. Um, I spent $33, and mostly I went to Wayne. I don't know if I'll go to Wayne again. I'm really impressed with it, there's Wayne. Marie's handwriting, much nicer than mine. Uh, let me just go through the rando stuff that I got. Um, I guess I'll start with this because it's right here. Raccoon, original, well, not original, original. It's, it's kind of like an etching or an engraving. Signed, uh, Masked Bandit is what it's titled. 256 out of 300. And I looked up that guy's name. It's something weird like Gula Lubeck, right? Um, I bought it because it was four dollars here. Here's the proof. Four dollars. And uh, people like, I don't know, people either like or hate raccoons. You know, it's like they think of the, I mean, they're kind of friendly, but they could have rabies and bite you. And they look like furry little bandits. So, you know, if you like little animals that look kind of cute and will come up to you, but then like will make you up in the middle of the night, uh, banging your cans around, stealing food, whatever, um, you know. People do like raccoons, so I figured eh, it's it's nice to hang on your wall and, and I don't know if you got cracks in your wall or whatever, hide the spots, fill in it, fill in an empty area on your wall. All right, what do I think I'll get to, uh, for that? I paid for. I, I actually think at a flea market or on a Facebook, twenty twenty five. If I put it on eBay, probably sixty to seventy. So I have to decide what to do with that. Uh, his stuff, I'm not sure how well it sells, so I might just try and sell it on Facebook for like, I don't know, just whatever, because who cares? I only paid four bucks for it, all right. Um, these are these records were a quarter each. I didn't even look at the records. I said, okay, I'll just take titles that that uh, are okay. Um, if, if you're a, a starter record guy and you want to buy low-value records where the music's uh, okay, buy, buy these. These are usually a few dollars or at a flea market or pretty much. There are a lot of these available, like Bread. But it's actually a pretty good group. They're like soft rock. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And good old Billy Joel. Uh, Turnstiles. I don't know if I love this album. Say goodbye, Summer Highland Falls. All I want to do is dance. New York Stadium. New York Stadium. I love this man. Uh, whatever. Not my favorite of his album. Uh, same with The Bridge. But I kind of like the cover. And there he is. Running on Ice, this time, Matter of, Tr Matter of Trust. Everybody knows Modern Warfare, Baby Grant, whatever. Uh, Chicago, I don't know how many of these albums they sold, but I've, I, I personally, in the, the record buying that I have done, it had at least a dozen or so. Uh, same with this. Chicago sold a lot of records, a lot of records. There should be nine here. It's, it isn't important that I get this, but I don't like garbage in the backyard. We just recently redid the backyard, and it looks really nice. Wasn't me though, the landlord. All right, um, and good old Carly Simon uh, with her probably her most favorite song, uh, "Anticipation," known by many people who never heard of Carly Simon uh, because of the catch-up. I don't remember which catch-up it was, but it would take a really long time to get out of the catch-up jar, and, and people would, you know, be very anticipating because it was such good catch-up. Uh, I didn't count them. One, two, three. Four, five, seven. Yeah, that's right. So they were a quarter each. I just gave her two bucks. I was like, I don't care about the quarter. All right. Uh, Marie bought this because when she bought the one, when she bought hers, and it made her dizzy, right? She wasn't loving it, but it was like 30, 40 bucks. So this one was like $3 out of yard sale. I don't think it's worth that much. She's either going to, if she keeps it, uh, but it makes her dizzy and stuff, then I'll ditch it again and I'll sell it for... Um, I don't know, I'll put it on Facebook 10 bucks, don't even care. Uh, this was $2, believe it or not, this. This is just an uh, Etala, uh, Finland glass. This is the Alto. It's like a little vase. You can use it for pens or whatever you want. I'm going to try and show it without screwing up the box too much. Okay, there it is. This one's kind of a white cast gla uh, case glass. Uh, and there it says on the bottom, Albar. Uh, Alto. So the designer was Alvar. I forget what her first name is, but um, I've had last by her before. Um, believe it or not, this thing is probably 50 bucks, I think, on eBay. I didn't check the price when I bought it. I just know Atala 
Finland does make good and sometimes expensive glass. And uh, this actually does sell though. I found I found that it uh, should be 50 bucks. This here so it doesn't blow away. All right, so I mean, if you like figure out what I have so far, I only spent $33. So even if I sell it for 20 records, a uh, buck a piece, even as low as that, uh, 27. Uh, even if I sell that 10, 37, this 50, right? Uh, $87. But we got more stuff. All right. These are actually good shoes. Um, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to wear these because they're not my size. Um, but I bought them because they're my kid's size. Uh, USM is 10. Male. Oh, US male. Okay. So US ladies is 11. Yeah. They might be a little bit big. If I cannot, uh, if my if they don't fit my uh, daughter, they're in really good shape. I'll just sell them. I don't care. You know, whatever. I, we pay 10 for these, which I still think is a good price. And who makes these? They're, they're, it's a good it's a good name. I know I didn't say it. It's Brookstone, I think. No, not Brookstone. Doc Martens. That's what it is. Just gotta get this stupid thing out of there. Oh, there it goes. A little bit of tar. All right. Let me just. I'm gonna put that somewhere where it will go away forever. Oh damn it! I think I landed it right in the flower. Let's see. No, it fell. Sorry, pretty flower. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh. Sunbeam Sonica, do I have a dog? I actually made, when I was buying it, I made a joke with the lady that um, I have a, uh, our neighbor dog barks all the time, so I'm going to like uh, kind of hide it in the yard and sell it. But I told her, now nah, I'm just joking. Uh, this sells for like 30, 35 bucks on eBay. So I pay, I think it was two bucks, you know, and it looks like it's new and never used. So for two bucks, I'll either put it on eBay or put it on uh, Facebook. We went to a sale. They were like, here, take some food for free. And I'm like, I normally don't do that, but I kind of like peanut butter cookie brownies. I might eat those tonight. I kind of like uh, cranberry quick bread. Uh, ice, uh, rice. Marie took the rice. I took the cake. She took the rice. Oh, yeah, and this. I don't, you know, normally I don't take... Uh, oh, and chocolate chunk. Got to get those. Um, normally I won't take food. Uh, but it was the end of the day, and they said the church came, and everybody took anything. So we're like, and they probably took the healthier stuff. We just took the crap and the pasta. All right, so um, let's see. I was going through, and what was that? I was at like up to 80-something. Uh, then 30, so 87. Add that on. That's another, say, I'll just say 20 bucks uh, after shipping profits all I got. So that's 100. All right. Uh, this was dumb, so I bought it. It's a Jamaica thing. I'd sell this for anything. So I'm not even going to include that. Uh, so I'm over a hundred on what I spent. Um, uh, okay, here's a nice wood bowl. It could be good for wine or holding something like that. It's really nice. I will get between five and ten. I'll just say, I mean, I could ask for more, but say I just get five. All right, so that's like a uh, hundred ten. Think what these these she sells for about. These are Reed and Barton, and she's had these before with the with the flower design. She'll sell these. Ouch, that's hot from the sun. There's barely even out there a few minutes. Uh, she'll sell these for like 10 bucks a piece. Here's the spoon handle. Uh, let's see, that's what it looks like. It's burning me. Okay. Uh, this is just a bone necklace. I don't think she'll get too much, but it's an old one for sure. Uh, so say she gets 10. So like, say like 30 for all that stuff. So I was like, what, 100? Under 720. I'd say about 150 so far worth of stuff. This she's going to use. 150. Uh, okay, these three things are good. All right. I'm going to say this is at least uh, 50 bucks. And this is like an Inuit Eskimo carving. Uh, it could be more. I'm not sure because it's a big, bigger size. It looks to be about like five inches or so. So, um, yeah, I'm going to say at least 50. So is it like 150, maybe 200 bucks? Uh, this is sterling, and they're just the. It's it's an older piece. It's it's marked 925 on the clasp here, and it has very interesting beads. Let me see if I can just focus in on them. Okay, 
It's got a really dark patina. Um, this was funny because actually there was a guy and there was a bunch of drilling. He was just like, right. he was just kind of going like this, moving around, moving beads and stuff, moving this. And this, if you feel it, it's it's old. It has that weird slick feeling of not silver. But like when I picked it up, first of all, I was like, wow, that's heavy. But I was like, I looked at the clasp. And I just, I, I, I took a hard look at the clasp, and I'm like, and I was trying to figure out how it hung. Here, let me show you how it hangs. It's, it's kind of interesting. kind of hangs like that, right? I just, I've, I saw the 925. I was like, okay, this is silver. Um, scrap alone, let me see. This was about 100 grams. So I think scrap alone, I think it was like uh, 80 bucks, something. So I'll just, I'll just say scrap on that, even though we could possibly sell for as much as 150. So where was I? I was like 150? I don't even know anymore. Say 150, so let's say two, 230, right? Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, there was this. So and this, I say at least another 50. So it's about 280, and so I think I have at least 280 worth of stuff. Of course, when I sell it, and I'm being super cheap on prices. Maybe I'll get a little bit more for some stuff, but not a lot more. So you know, it's it's best to be conservative when I do this stuff. So again, I spent 33 dollars. I'm at 280. So so what's this? Um, let me see if I can show it to you. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. I looked and I looked and I looked. Don't see any da damage. I think this is Lismore. Uh, it's def and if I say Lismore and you know your, uh, there we go. Yeah, go this way. Did you like a reverse etching so you could see it this way? Okay. Let's see. You see it? It's Waterford. Um, not all Waterford, Waterford will sell for much. This one should be at least sixty dollars. Uh, I did some quick research, so I was two eighty. Plus 60 is, uh, I don't know, 340. So at least 60. At least 60, you know. So around 340. I think I got about 340 or so. Did I have a bad day shopping? Technically, no. Did I get the kind of stuff that I like to get? Stuff that's easy to sell? I could sell it anywhere? Um, technically, no. You know. Um, eBay, eBay, eBay. Flea market or something. eBay. Probably eBay. Uh, that picture with the uh, with those uh, the sneaky little raccoon. Probably eBay. Uh, eBay. eBay. So I mean, basically, I just bought a bunch of stuff for eBay, which is what I've been doing generally. But anyway, um, that's it. Tomorrow, Sunday. Not going to be anywhere tomorrow. No place to go. No place to shop. So um, I don't even think there's yard sales. So I don't even think I'll do that. Um, but that's it. If uh, I don't, it's late, so I'm not going to go to the store. AJ's at the store, if anybody wants to go. I don't know. Uh, not open Sundays or Mondays, sorry guys. Um, but we're open the rest of the week. Otherwise, this is it. This is what I got. Uh, basically, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh, if you want to see the live hunting in the yard sales, where I went up and I showed like just ton. You know what it is? We didn't go out early. We, we, we've been going out late because we don't want to mix with too many people, right? We don't want to do that, that, um... That thing where it's like elbow to elbow, it's just not worth it. You know, we we, uh, we can buy oddball stuff and be fine. Uh, stuff that's left over at the end of the day. So we went late. So all the easy stuff that everybody knows, that stuff's almost always gone. Um, so what you'll see is me going through these yard sales, and it's a lot of dead empty space uh, for stuff wasn't sold. And just a lot of stupid junk that, that really nobody would buy. You know, we just found a few good things here there. But if you like to see that kind of stuff, though, scummy resellers. All right, I'm really out of here for now. Uh, that's it. Goodbye.